Okay, looking to do a uh, full system swap um, for this unit. We are down in the basements here. Let me show you. Um, so walk out to the back, come right down the stairs. Uh, we've got unfinished flooring here. Um, unit is facing obviously the other way, but we're going to be converting. Um, I shouldn't say converting. We're sticking with an 80% furnace, new return drop, new humidifier new coil uh, but outside we're going to do a new heat pump which that coil is sitting uh, right over here that line set runs down the unit sitting just right out here uh, you've got your your panel there with your shutoffs so this particular unit will be dual fuel the heat pump will be the main source of heat and then we'll have a gas backup furnace uh, we do have a flue liner in which this guy's a five inch, it's got a five inch converting down to three, uh, four inch here. Um, this return, this return is 21 by 10 and it widens down to 10 by 25. So we'll leave this uh, section in place and I'll have this bottom section, um, a new one uh, brought out for you. And this will probably, what I'll do is try to grab a B width. So we'll get a little bit skinnier. This is four inches right here. So hopefully we'll pick up those extra few inches. And if you need to put a canvas sleeve on that, um, we should be able to get the 12 tin in there without too much fuss. Looks like drains, I haven't actually seen it. The drains on the floor back there. I don't know if it's going under a wall or if it's just in the corner. Uh, no, it's right here in the floor. Yeah, right there. Uh, gas shutoffs up here. Um, the only thing we'll have to do, obviously, is we're going to have to run new wiring um, to the outside, which, again, it's all exposed for that heat pump. So you'll be able to go right through the wall.